In this video, I'm going to talk about John Singer Sargent's work. This is a portrait he did of his teacher, Carolus Duran, when he was studying in France. He's famous for this portrait of Lady Agnew. And you can see from the following portraits how he captured the great concepts that, this, that the old masters captured, which are light, space, and atmosphere. And the only real difference is he painted everything very opaquely. He was matching values, but he was doing even more than that. He was painting light. And at the end of this short video, you'll see some examples he did of copies of Velasquez. And this is where I contend that he really learned about painting light because his student work didn't have that quality. But, but the, uh, the main thing you want to take away from this is that it was all very opaque. I mean, look at the treatment of the hair on this little girl. With just a few strokes, he captures the texture of the hair. And notice the, the light and shadow on this head of Henry James. Very powerful but um, very opaque. Now here you can see his brushwork as he painted Monet in his garden. So very rapid brushwork, that's what it was all about for Sargent. And here you can see how opaque every stroke is. So he didn't deal in transparencies the way the great masters did, but he painted the light, he pl painted the planes of the head, and he, he captured all the great qualities of the greatest masters. These are the Velasquez copies. Now let's look at one of my portraits I did as a student at the Art Students League with Frank Mason. This was a model who posed one afternoon. And once again, like Sargent, uh, you know, my work was all opaque. I was, I was matching values, but, I, you know, Frank Mason taught me about the light. So we're painting the light effect and thinking about soft and uh, hard edges, lost and found edges, but you can see everything is built up very opaquely. And these are close-ups of the painting. And you'll see after this um, that I did a, a later portrait, which I like I paint even now, where I'll keep the shadows transparent. Any of the darks are transparent, but you see the shadow in that was opaque. So this is a one afternoon portrait of my son. So the shadows you can see are thin and transparent and the lights are opaque. So we built build up the lights with much thicker paint. And th these are the concepts of the old masters that we talked about, you know, particularly uh, with Rembrandt and, and, and Rubens, all the great 17th century masters. They kept the darks thin and transparent and they built up the lights very opaquely. So these are the concepts I like to talk about the most, the classical principles.